So my goodness, how many... Four, five, six... We've, we've gotten six points of XP so far tonight. Okay, let's take another one of these and another one of these. Man, we didn't need that damn cop blown up, but... Oh! Oh, not good. Hey, welcome everybody back to Seven Days to Die. It is Horde Night, uh, whatever Horde Night it is, <laughs> and I'm uh, just doing some final things to the base here, real quick. Um, I had hoped to upgrade um, these bars and this lower set of box blocks to steel, uh, but it just didn't work out that way, and so plan. Here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put another ladder down here. I thought they would have to me with two missing, but apparently they won't. So let's copy that shape, put that down there, get that upgraded. And now, yeah, now they're gonna path to us. Okay, so the plan 
for this base is that we're going to use explosives. Uh, so let's take a loading elixir for maximum XP. An atom junkies. And start dropping bombs on these guys. This chamber that's down below is a 5x5 five five chamber. And so the idea is they basically can't get away from the radius uh, of the grenade. Well, actually, I guess that would only be true if we put it more in the middle, which we should be doing. Look at that, 48,000 XP. <laughs> Good lord, we're already halfway to the next level. That is amazing. Okay, so if this base works out according to plan, um, yeah, I want to get these upgraded to concrete. Uh, oh, shit, I did not want to waste the steel on that. we got to make sure that hatch stays repaired. That's the linchpin for this whole thing. Uh, and I lost my train of thought. I can't remember what I was saying. Okay. Check that. Okay, let's throw down some more explosives. Yeah, as long as we keep those grenades in the center, it should hit everybody. 31,000 XP on that one. Beautiful. Now, the thing that could make this... Damn it. Um, a little tricky is if, if the game throws... Oh, shit. Quit bouncing off over there. If the game starts throwing... Um, uh, what are they called? Demolishers at us. Because, um, you know, for this base to be able to handle demolishers, it needs to be fully upgraded to steel. And I, as mentioned, just didn't have the resources for that. And there's a lot of vultures up there. Um, we can retreat up here. So let's let's deal with some of these vultures. Oh my god, that's a lot of vultures. Let's deal with them now, so if we have to go back up there later, um, you know, we can do it. Not getting ganked by all these guys. Don't be clawing me through there, you bastard. All right, I don't know if that clears all of them, but hopefully enough of them. Okay, try try this again now. Right down the middle. Yeah, that's close enough. 23,000 XP on that. Beautiful. 60,000. <laughs> I think that was still added on to the last one, though. Another 10,000 there. check our hatch here and we have some more buzzards let's deal with them okay. the other nice thing about clearing the buzzards is it then spawns in more zombies for down here which is where our XP is coming from Nice. Okay, so we got three skill points. We started with... We didn't have a point when we started, by the way, either. Um, so what we're going to do is... We're going to actually take Perception up to three so we can get this next point in Deadeye. So that's four point XP points we've already gotten tonight, you guys. And I mean, the Horde Knight just started. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Okay. I have a feeling like I'm... Oh, yeah. I want to put these back to blocks in case we need to use them as blocks or cubes. All right. Let's keep on keeping on here. I think this will work well as long as we don't get demolishers. Demolishers could really wreck this whole scenario for us. 17,000 XP there. Uh, when I run out of grenades, I, I'll have um, pipe bombs uh, to fall back to. But moving forward, we'll probably just be doing grenades all the time. Okay, well, we have a little bit of a lull. Um, let's go back up here and once again clear out the birds. It's a shitty time for them to be sending all these birds at us. I think we're good. Check this. Uh, 
Is that a demolisher? Yeah, I think there's a demolisher there. Okay. Yeah, we got one. Shoot. Alright, it didn't set him off. And we got another point, too. Nice. Oh! Wow, that was close. Yeah, we got... <laughs> Like, gotta keep an eye on this hatch here. If this goes, we're in trouble. Um, yeah, let's uh just top off all this stuff. The nice thing about this is there's very little of this going on here where they're attacking the the base. Um which is fine with me. Okay, let's grab these. We got about 30 seconds left on our buffs before we refresh them. 35,000 XP. Beautiful. We should probably take a bandage, too. We got hit by a couple buzzards and took a little bit of explosion damage, I think. And that was a cop explosion. Yeah, see, the floor, the floor is getting torn up down there because of the cops blowing up. But if we use this again for the next door night, this will be completely upgraded to steel. Two more points. So what we could do with those two points is uh, let's just go ahead and get perception up to five, and then the next one we can take demolitions again. So my goodness, how many? Four, five, six. We've, we've gotten six points of XP so far tonight. Okay, let's take another one of these and another one of these. Man, we didn't need that damn cop blown up, but... Oh, shit. Oh, not good. Okay, get up here. Well, that... It was unfortunate. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe we can... Still... Do, oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> maybe we can still make this sort of work. The problem, though, I think, is... But they're not going to path up here now. Oh, that sucks. I just didn't quite get back to the thing in time. Um, we could try to get down there with an iron hatch. But I'm really going to have to stay on top of it if that's going to work. Let's just keep throwing bombs down there in the meanwhile. Is that a cop or a boss buzzard? I don't know. Um, but we definitely should take another one of those. I don't know, though. The, you know, the thing is, is it's so damn damaged down there now that we might not be able to make this work after all. There's, an, there's more demolishers too coming up. Yeah, I think we better stay on the roof. <laughs> but again, this, this could work. Uh, if everything is upgraded to steel, this could work. And we're still getting some explosions off down there. Alright, let's switch to these. I want to pull this down to here. Uh oh. There's still enough of them down there to where, you know, we can still be killing them. Just not as effectively as before. Oh, shit. Did that actually fall through? Maybe. I'll be honest with you guys. I was not expecting to get a shit ton of uh, demolishers. I figured, you know, we might get a couple, but this is nuts. The last tour night we had zero demolishers, and then all of a sudden we are getting them left and right just in one week. Crazy. We should probably be doubling up since these are 
weaker than grenades. Okay, here, let's go to perception. Um, and go to demolitions. And we are now level 3, which basically increases stuff by 30%, 25%, etc. Et Don't want to take the time to read it. We need to get as much explosives down there as we can before our buffs wear off, because it's helping too. I'm just going to keep feeding them down there while, while they're congregating in that area. Uh, the, another reason why I chose this structure too is because it's, um, it's, it's already concrete, you know, 5,000 hit points. So it's pretty stout in terms of just a default POI here. have a nice little bunch of loot bags down there, including a, a red one that I think the demos dropped. I have some eye candy in the bike, too, that we'll take, and then, of course, we'll put our luckies on. Another two skill points, that's awesome. You know what I think I want to do with those other two skill points, though? Well, actually, I would like to get Intellect uh, Physician up at least one more point. And we might then transition over to Strength for a while, just so I can get 69er and Mother Load up. And Shotguns. Um, because I've been doing an awful lot of mining with, you know, 69er 1 and Mother Load 1, and it's... Just a hell of a lot of work. Those those two skills are pretty much essential no matter what build you are in this game. Because, you know, mining and is a big part of, of how you play the game. We're still doing reasonably well. I mean, it's just a little after 1 o'clock in the morning. As long as they keep coming in this general vicinity, we'll keep blowing them up. This place is going to have the absolute tar beat out of it, though. You might want to find an, another one and do the same thing with all steel for the next one. I don't know. Let's see. Um, that also reminds me, I, I really should probably prioritize getting another crucible. Because it's not its not that I don't have enough resources to make the steel. It's just that it takes so long with just one, you know, crucible. So that's kind of more the issue. those down there. Another demo. Dang. <laughs> it's intense. Okay. So we're out of juice. Um, let's just touch these up a little bit here. We don't want them breaking. Okay. Um, why don't we... So we're, we're at level 3 in demo, right? Perception level 7 is what we would need. And doesn't 7 require 2 points? It does. Uh, Alright. Let's just stay with 3 right now. What I'd like to do is get... 69er up. Let's get mother load up, and then if we get another point, we'll uh, get boomstick up next. We have gotten amazing, an amazing amount of XP from tonight, though. Oh, okay, that's it for our explosives. <laughs> okay. All right, we're using guns for the rest of the oh lag for the rest of the night. Actually, probably should have put that next point into shotguns, but um, yeah, let's switch over to these weapons because we have the most skill with them.
I mean, it's still possible that this little structure could come down before the end of the night. Let's hope it doesn't, but it's always possible. Let's get down on this ladder a little bit. Not too much down, but enough so I can see what's going on a little bit better. Let's shoot these guys. We have two red bags. Nice. Man, Captain OG is going to have a story to tell Zulu Tango Foxtrot after this is all over. Oh, you know what? We have another one of these. Let's take it. Might as well. And let's also take a gumbo. It'll give us some health and some nutrition. Don't really want to go further down the ladder. I am a little framey too, so that's making my aiming not ideal. But we have 64 Blood Moon Horde too, so pretty beefy. My computer seems to handle it re relatively well though. We're getting close to that next level. We might just hit it before the end of the night. You know something else just occurred to me too. I should try and see if I could do like a double hatch system. If we use this arrangement again. So have another hatch over the, the first one that they broke through kind of as a fallback. That might work. I'll have to look into that. I'm having trouble targeting anybody at the moment. There we go. We got that next skill point. Fantastic. All right, it's 3 a.m. And uh, it sounds like things have calmed down a little bit. Maybe we'll see if we can take some of these stragglers out that are out a little further. The other thing that's nice about the structure is it's got this little lip on it too, so it keeps us, I guess, you know, I don't even know. Do spiders still climb? Uh, can they still climb up walls? I don't even know if they do anymore. Let's try something here. I'm going to look at the scaffolding. Copy shape. Yeah, get that on there. It'll let me go down a little bit lower. Here, we might as well repair this while we're up here. And uh, we're going to need to open up some more of these up, too. Okay. Let's get right to about there. Dead? I think so. Can't quite get to that guy. Oh man, do I want to go down lower? <laughs> That's risky. <laughs> so risky. Wow. Look at the damage down here. It's nuts. Three thirty. We have definitely thinned this horde way down. <clears throat> we took so many of them out in the beginning. Excuse me, with all the explosives. It's almost like we've killed the whole thing, which is unusual considering how nasty they are, you know? But I only hear one Zeke down there.
It's still standing. Hey, lady. I think we killed the horde, you guys. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Okay. Look at all the bags down here. That is nuts. Um, all right. Well, I guess horde night's over. <laughs> It's not technically over, but it's effectively over. Um, let's grab this eye candy. And uh, I'm just going to put a few things back in here so we have plenty of room for the eye candy. That's probably good enough. I'll switch to our lucky goggles. So I meant to say where. And see if we get anything good. We'll do the red bags first. Okay. I mean... Not really all that great. It's basic stuff. It's useful stuff, but it's just basic stuff. That's kind of disappointing. Let's try the blue bags. Eh, okay. Really, game? Um, do we have any points in Lucky Looter? I don't think we do, actually. We have one point in Lucky Looter. That's probably part of it. Uh, sure, we'll learn that. A lot of the same crap and guns. All right, let's go offload. Well, actually, I'm just going to keep looting the stuff that's stackable. And then I'll come back and get the rest of it. Military fiber? Yeah, Horde Knight loot is... Um, In my, you know, from what I've seen in Alpha 21, it's it's useful, but it's not spectacular. Not even those red bags were spectacular. And again, it could just be because I have a shitty lucky looter, I don't know. Alright. Um, there's a bag up there. Oh, there's bags out here, too. Chance to harvest acid from cars. Okay. Not that I need acid, but whatever. Get a decent amount of food, I guess, from these. Okay, so that... I believe is it for the bags other than the stuff I need to go pick up. All right, guys. Well, um, we survived. So that's the most important thing. <laughs> and, uh, these are probably not worth fixing up. Are they? Nah, I think we're, they're going to be better off. What is this worth? That's only worth 44. I mean, yeah, we probably, they probably are worth more if we sell them. Cause if we scrap it, we only get the one, right? Yep. Okay. We'll fix them up and sell them, I guess. Um, so I'll have to, you know, I'll have to think about if we're going to use this little setup again. Um, but, you know, as I've already mentioned multiple times now, I've got plans uh, for a big, like, permanent in-game horde base. Um, whether or not we get to that before the next Horde Knight remains to be seen. But I think this base could work if it's all steel and if I put a double hatch, like stack two hatches on top of each other. So if the first one breaks, you know, we have we have the second one as a fallback. So, you know, we had we had this hatch here, right? But then we then we put another 
I guess, ladder down and then put a second hatch over the top of it. And it just gives us a double layer, essentially. But one thing's for sure, man, I've got to... I've got to stay on top of keeping that hatch repaired because <laughs> I was leaving it to go take care of the damn buzzards because there were so many of them. But in hindsight, I should have probably left them alone and stayed down there. But there were so many of them. As the thing is, is if I would had would have had to retreat to the roof, um, they would I might have been killed by them. There's that many, so I kind of had to deal with them. Um, a junk turret would certainly help with that. I don't think I have a junk turret. I have a sledgehammer turret, so that could maybe help. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll just see how things go. Um, but it's there's a strong possibility we'll try this again uh, next Horde Night if I can get a hold of another um, Crucible because, again, it's just the steel that takes so long to make and you need so much of it. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.